Let's look at the system of three equations with five unknowns. This system definitely doesn't have a unique solution because we don't have enough equations. You have only three equations and five unknowns. You would have to have at least five equations for this many unknowns. Of course, the system may have no solution. That's always an option or infinitely many solutions. That's also always an option. Uh, we're going to use Gauss-Jordan method with pivoting. So we start with writing down the augmented matrix, matrix of coefficients with the right hand side or with the three coefficients. First go x's, then y's, and so on. We're using Gauss-Jordan method with pivoting, so we can uh, arbitrarily choose our first pivot. There's lots of ones here and, and a few zeros. I would choose A1 because it makes calculations easiest and one in the column that already has some zeros so as to reduce the amount of work to begin with. Let's say this one. There's only one non-zero entry in that column remaining, the, the one in the, th in the very bottom, so the third row if from the third row we subtract the first row, then this one will become zero. First and second row are unchanged, so let's copy them. And then the third one we subtract. So we have minus four, four, zero, six, two, and zero. Okay, now since we don't want to destroy anything that was just done, gonna cover or I'm gonna cover the first row, the row in which I already have a pivot, and choose another pivot from the remaining non-zero uncovered uh, entries. I'm gonna choose one of those negative ones for the reasons I stated before. Let's say this one. And now I have only one non-zero entry in that column, which is the two in the third row. I can reduce it to zero by adding two times negative one, which is two times row two. So the first row unchanged, second row unchanged, and to the third one we're adding twice the second, so it's zero, two, zero, six minus four, two, two minus two, zero, and zero minus four, negative four. Okay, we had a pivot, we have a pivot in the first row, cover it. We have a pivot in the second row, cover it. So one of those twos is gonna be my next pivot. Now since all the entries in that third row are even numbers, let me first divide it by two. Again, to simplify further calculations. Okay, and now one of those ones should be my next pivot. Choice is arbitrary, let's say this one. Now two entries above it are non-zero, so we have to reduce them. In the first row we have a one, so subtract. In the second row we have minus one, so add the third row. And so we have the following. Third row unchanged. Okay second row add and the first row subtract okay now this um, second pivot there's a in the fourth column it's a negative one so first let me multiply the second row by negative one so as to make it a proper one. Okay, and now we have three pivot columns, three non-zero rows. The, fir the second, third and fourth column correspond to y, z and t variables. 
and they are these variables are basic variables because they correspond to the pivot columns and the first and fourth columns point to free variables because they are non-pivot columns and these are x and u variables free variables or parameters if you will now we could now play around with this matrix interchange rows and columns to put it in a proper row reduced echelon form but it's not really necessary to write down the final solution because just as we started with changing the system into augmented matrix from this matrix we can write down the system of three equations from which we will be solving we can solve for basic variables so the first equation is 4x no y 1z no u no t equals 1 second minus 2x no y no z 1u 1t equals 4 and third row no x 1y no z 1u no t equals negative 2 this is the system and from the system we solve for basic variables so from the third equation we have y equals negative 2 minus u from the first equation we solve for z that's 1 minus 4x and from the third for second equation we solve for t which is 2x 4 minus 4 plus 2x minus u now x and u are free variables so they can take on any real values and this is the solution of the system there are infinitely many solutions with two parameters